So good morning guys, it's another beautiful day here in Guernsey and we thought it was actually one of the perfect days to show you what life is like on an average day in our lives for going to work, exploring the island and just generally making the most of our short time here in Guernsey. So once we're up and ready, we usually group together, just have a little team meeting in the morning, see what needs done and what our goals are for the day. And then we will go away and do like half an hour of work before we need to leave to go to work. This morning though, Campbell's a little bit unorganised, he still has to make his lunch. I've got some soup left over from yesterday, so I'll be taking that. I think so, I'm not going to make anything too exotic, I'm just going to make some pesto pasta, I realise, because I've not had that in ages, and we've actually got loads of jars that we need to use up before we leave. So that's today's lunch sorted. So now we're going to get stuck into some work. Oh man, so it's another nine hour day done and usually what we've been trying to do lately is come home, smash a hit workout and then go out on any adventures we're going to do. Now there's one place that we want to go and check out. We've not actually been to it before and we didn't even realise it existed until we read about it online. So I'll tell you about after, after we do a workout and we're going to smash a 15 minute hit workout now. Now the place that we really want to check out is a historical site in Guernsey that I, I actually used to live here and I had no idea it was here. Uh, the only reason I know about it is because I was writing a blog post on the historical sites in Guernsey and when I googled it, it came up. Never knew it was there and it was actually right behind my house. So we want to go and find that tonight. Looks like the weather's going to perk up and we'll show you when we get there. This is one of the reasons why I absolutely love living here in Guernsey is there's just so many incredible places to explore that are just really quite bizarre because there's this one place that we're going to next, it's called Chateau de Marie. It's right off the seafront if you're on the east coast of the island and it's just basically this big fort that's like completely overgrown in ivy so I guess that's why it's called Ivy Castle that you would never even guess that it's here until you actually kind of stumble across it. The only reason we heard about it, as Gemma said, was because she read about it online and was writing a blog post about it. Now when you come inside the outer wall, there's now a moat that kind of goes around this internal castle bit. There's one little ramp that leads up into the internal bit which you think is going to be some kind of grand castle on the inside. Turns out it's just an empty hut with not a lot else inside it, so I'm not entirely sure what the point of it is. But it's a really, really peaceful place. It's quite um, popular for like dog walking and stuff. Picnic tables and everything on the inside of here as well. And it's quite removed from the busyness of the seafront, like the road that lies just behind it as well. You would kind of hear the cars, but the birds and everything are so noisy, you would actually forget that it's even there. Yes, I don't actually know what the point of this is. I'm guessing it used to be some kind of old chapel or something maybe. And in the walls around it would have been like used to guard it or something. But it's quite a cool place. It's quite unique. I've never seen anything like it. I think as well, it's like this place is almost like part of a nature trail because if you look here, like there's little animal pictures and names and th these are dotted all over the place. And I think these are the little insects or bugs that you would find around the area. It's also really pretty how there's all this ivy growing up the walls all around the castle.
and I think when the GoPro dies, the time lapse is over, it's time to go home. Wow. I think that's got to be one of the best sunsets of the year so far. Pretty special. It's been a good night, isn't it? Spectacular. Guernsey sunsets. Oh, oh, first of the year, cannot wait for more. Oh, it's ready. So we came home, chucked this in the oven. I'm absolutely starving now, but what a beautiful sunset. It's definitely worth it. We've got some butternut squash here. We've got some roasted chickpeas. And we're gonna do it on like a bit, a salad bed, so it's a proper healthy dinner. But it's one we've had before and it's delicious. And then we're just gonna drizzle this kind of tahini, lemon, and like Cajun spicy thing over it. And it is so, so good. Absolutely love it. That dinner was absolutely delicious. Like we're really getting into eating more of these kind of plant-based, leafy, salady with tahini sauce kind of dishes. I think we've had about five or six of them now. Yeah. And they're so really, tasty. Really light. They're light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It reminds me more of summer rather than the stodgy kind of like winter meals that you tend to eat. <laughs> mashed potato and gravy that we were eating before. It's just getting us so excited for summer. Now onto our big announcement guys, as we promised. We have some pretty big news coming up. Um, it's absolutely terrifying for me, to be honest, and I'm still quite excited to share it because if we share it now, it's actually making it real. It's something that you might have guessed from uh, what we've been talking about in this episode already, but our time in Guernsey is actually quickly coming to an end. Yeah, for now anyway. We will be back one day I'm sure, but for now. So our plan is to leave Guernsey at the end of May. We're going to get the ferry back over to the UK, sell our car, hopefully, fingers crossed, buy a camper van, and then head up to Scotland and make a start on a road trip. Yeah, we've got a big summer planned in Scotland and we're so excited to go home see our friends and family. I think it's been, it's going to have been, come May, about 15 or 16 months since we last saw our family. Yeah. So that is very, very exciting. We're going to be so sad to see Guernsey at the back of Guernsey though. Like, Guernsey has just been an incredible experience for us. It's such a beautiful, welcoming and hospitable place. And it, as Gemma said, we definitely will be back one day, whether it's this year or whether it's sometime in the future. I think Guernsey will always have a piece of our heart mm -hmm. and I can definitely see us settling down here again one more time. So that is a typical day of our life when we're working in Guernsey. Now, obviously we don't do all of these activities every single day of the week, but that doesn't make for a good video. Some days we come home and we just get stuck into our laptops, get stuck into some work. Some days the sun is shining and we like run out for the content. Some days we come home, do a workout, go out, explore, come back, do some work. It depends how we feel, really. Yeah, and so if you like this video, guys, and you want to see more kind of lifestyle videos like this, and also some more travel videos in the future, exploring more of Guernsey, and if you want to see what we get up to in Scotland this summer, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let us know what you think of this day in the life in Guernsey in the comments down below. And we'll see you again in the next one. See ya.